Hey everybody, and welcome back to Runers with Bearded Narwhal. And, uh, let's have a good run tonight. Uh, it seems like you guys actually really enjoyed this, uh, the last episode. In fact, one of you, I think it was Belzamat, said that he was going to recommend it. And, uh, I'm glad that there's interest for this game, because it was a lot of fun yesterday. I definitely think the Blessing of the Chimera is really good, so I'm gonna go ahead and try that. And then, uh... Huh. This seems okay, occultist. Oh, you can throw a weapon? Okay. That seems really good. We're not gonna do that, though. Mystic. Does she practice mysticism or mysteriousness? The next spell cast has a plus 15 to all rune levels. This bonus extends past the rune level maximum of 10, so- oh, that- that actually sounds like it'd be pretty good, so like the next spell cast is like huge. Oh wow, okay. Ranger seems okay. Plantal debuff seems okay, too. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna go with uh, the Druid this time. Bring out your inner animal for up to 10 seconds, improving your move speed, damage, and cooldowns by 10%, but decreasing defense by 50%. You may cast this again to the end of the effect early. Seems pretty good, and uh, I don't know which spell I would rather have. Really just not fire again, so I'm gonna go ahead and go with random. And uh, yes, I will be a Druid with the Blessing of the Chimera. Oh, and uh, you might be able to hear Amber playing The Sims in the background. It's pretty quiet, I tested recording, but uh, that is the noise if you can't hear it. Um, no noise. <laughs> there is no noise, says Amber. Um, I feel her. Deep beneath the ground, she calls to me, and I feel my shame. So, uh, yeah, there is a loose story in this game. Okay, our new character model looks pretty cool. I'm glad each individual uh, class actually does have a different model. I think it would be a little a little boring if we didn't. And it looks like we got the darkness spell, or corruption. Fires a dark bullet that causes reduced movement speed and increased cooldowns. That seems pretty good. Alright, there's a brain in here somewhere. I can't kill it. Hit list. Enemies are linked in a mysterious way. Kill them in order. Okay. What's in order? What order am I killing them in? Oh. That one. Okay. There we go. Oh man. That was our... We activated our buff. Please, just... There we go. And I don't know how long the buff lasts, but... That's fine. Hopefully we can actually do this one because this would be the first challenge room we actually have completed. And this like-like-esque creature is really getting in the way. A like-like-like creature. Hit list event complete! We could get plus crit damage, plus 10 density, I have no idea what density would do for us, minus 4 cooldowns, that seems pretty good. Or plus 2% crit chance. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do crit chance. I'm always a sucker for, uh, for burst characters, so we'll try that out. Okay, let's break all these in the hopes that we will get a heart out of them. Oh, and occasionally you'll see me, like, glow. That's me shooting a bigger, well, not bigger, I cast it twice because of the Chimera. We have like a 7% chance to do it? Okay. Okay. There we go. There's the Druid. <laughs> oh my god. Look how strong we are. <laughs> I definitely like the Druid's passive. Or, uh, active, I guess it would be. Oh my god, and his cooldown is so short. How wonderful. 
mind room. Alright. And I also really like this spell, because it basically turns everyone else really bad. So, we could get second wind, sacrifice all your traits to save stave off death. Oof. Increase your move speed by 10% and lower your friction. I assume that means, like, when you touch mud pits and stuff, you it affects you less? Whenever you cast your class ability, lower your other cooldowns by 5. That seems pretty good since our druid cooldown is so low. So maybe we should do that. I like that. Especially since our druid reduces our cooldowns by 15% anyway. So we could cast a big spell potentially a couple times while that's active. Pretty cool synergy. Where's our map? There it is. Okay, so we have a mind rune and a light rune right now. Now, I'm gonna save this, but I will use a light rune right now just to make a second spell. The reason I'm doing this is... Oh, I got an achievement for that. <laughs> but now I can shoot a beam of magical energy holding my right click. So now instead of just holding my right click, I hold my right and left click, and I kind of shoot dual cooldowns. And it actually lowers our cooldowns, which is pretty cool. So, uh, yeah. Got a pretty good... <laughs> Got a pretty cool combo, actually, with uh, Magic Missile on Darkness here. Let's see what... Oh my god. Just a machine gun when we activate our Druid active. There we go. I think I may like this class build way more than I liked yesterday's build, but... Yesterday's build was honestly just kind of silly, and I wanted to test it. Now this is where the uh, like spell thief character would be really nice because there's a there was a buff on that rat. Okay, let's kill the mages. That way we can get in and kill the uh, the skeletons fairly easily. There we go. And then you, the green. Everything went better than expected. Let's see what we have. We have a double combiner now. We have a mind rune. Now, in one of the comments, they said the mind rune plus rock plus earth runes, I think it was, are really overpowered together. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that next. See, I read comments. Oh no. There's a lot of enemies in this room. So good. Wow. So, uh, Magic Missile plus Corruption, pretty cool combo since they're b they both shoot straight, especially when you get the uh, Druid cooldown. Yeah, pretty cool. Alright, it's almost back up. <laughs> wow, okay. We just destroyed that room. I, uh... I think we found a winning combination, guys. And the crit chance, I assume, helps because of how fast we hit. The more times we hit, the more chance... The more chances we have to crit, so... Oh my god, this room is huge. <laughs> just kite him and shoot him. That's basically what this entire uh, game is, to be fair, but... Alright. Ooh, another double combiner. So now I can use the runes that I just found without feeling too bad. Oh, man. Now I might, if I get it one more double combiner. There we go. I like it. Oh, and I hope the audio balance is okay. I tested it, and I discovered that I could probably do a higher... Uh, in-game volume with this and not, like, drown myself out. I feel like my audio balance has been set more to Dark Souls than it has been to the games I've been playing lately, so I'm gonna try out some other things. I mean, since you can already hear people message me on Skype anyway, why not? <laughs> but, yes. Oh man. We need to kill that totem down here. 
because that is what is buffing everyone in this room. That was pretty easy. Remember that when we're using our buff, we do take 50% more damage. So, there is a negative associated with it. And it's not just all uh, sunshines and roses. What is that? Entropy! Okay, so we have enough runes now that I feel like we should go ahead and use a combo. I'm gonna try Entropy and Speed. Ooh, Entropy is random. So I don't know if I want random. I want a, a very safe spell. So I'm gonna do Speed and Air. Okay, that's cool. It's a, it's a vacuum spell. It doesn't have damage, but it vacuums everything into one little hole. So now I can press 1 once that cooldown comes up to uh, vacuum everything in there and then just, like, shoot away. So, that is reliable. That's what I asked for. And I got it, I guess. <laughs> Alright. Where is... There it is. Excellent. I guess there's our stats, like, if we ever augment them. It's weird that our crit isn't there. But... Oh, I just got lost. Alright, one more to the right, or to the left, and then up. Wonderful. Stairwell. Entropy levels, that could be good. Of course. And then, uh, oh, Earth Room. So, I could have chosen, like, a more permanent upgrade, but I want to make that spell that I've been told about. I remember the night I lost her. The sound of distant water. The smell of smoke, and a crushing sense of panic. I wonder... Enemies have 10% more health. Thank you for notifying us. Um, I really want to know what what's going on in this story, but we'll find out. So mind is piercing, and then earth is normally a spike. And this, this is giving us bullet speed, so... Oh my god, it's a shotgun! What's the cooldown? Okay, let's, uh, let's try this out. Wait for the cooldowns. Can I hold two down? No, I have to spam it. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. Just throw a bunch of rocks, that's fine. <laughs> I like it. I enjoy this. I don't think you were kidding when you said this was overpowered, whoever said that. I'm sorry, I don't know who it is, so I can't give you credit. And we got another entropy room. So let's go ahead and um, try out dual entropy. Oh my god. And then we can uh, figure out what that does. Yeah. This is awesome. Guided stones. Okay, entropy. Entropy. Lottery. On cast. If cast on enemy gives them a random debuff, otherwise, gives you a random buff. What's the cooldown? 10 seconds. Oh, sure. I like random. Oh my. <laughs> Okay, Druid buff plus uh, rocks and magic missile. Pretty cool. Leveled up. Damage dampening. If you are if you are near a destructible, spread at nine percent of the damage to it. Okay. Floating once again. Elementalism. Killing runic mages. Leaves a shard of their essence, which lowers your cooldowns by one second. That sounds interesting. Okay, I like this. Excess energy gives a 10% chance on spellcast to release an extra bullet. There we go. <laughs> wow. So I didn't expect this run to be like this. Oh, I can do that too, buddy. 
like that? You see what you've been doing to people? Oh, did I give myself a, Oh, I gave myself a damage defense up? What? Thank you, uh, random dice. Alright, we also... We got a fire rune, so I'll go ahead and make fire and air next. Or fire and... I guess that's a light rune? What is in here? <laughs> Alright. Clean up. Okay, I think we actually debuffed someone instead of buffing ourselves. Okay, we got a shock rune. The first shock rune we found, actually, I think. Unless we had one that we didn't use last episode. Okay, bats. Please? Oh my god. Thank you. Alright, so shock room. We don't need to make another basic spell, so. Move speed up. Oh man. With these bats, I can't really afford to use my, uh. My druid buff. Because if they hit me, they're gonna almost kill me, I bet. Okay, we killed the earth. One of the earth mages, at least. There we go. Ooh, speed run. Rune. Jesus. Thank you for the health. Oh my god. Nice. Alright, how much of this floor have we explored? Not much, actually. Still no combiners, huh? Okay. If something in here drops health, I would be very happy. I dropped a light rune. It's kind of like health. Oh. <laughs> Remember this? Alright. Thank you. Oh, health, thank you, once again. Wow. <laughs> Rocks are so good. And that room dropped a literal butt-ton of health. Okay. I think those are mind mages? Or entropy mages, actually, I think. Okay. Let's, uh, deal with them a little bit. They're hard to dodge, because they don't even know where they're casting, it looks like. They have the entro entropy spells, which are, by definition, unpredictable. So, but we got a double combiner. We know what light plus light does. Let's go ahead and see what shock plus speed does. Wibbly woo shoots a wild light bullet that wibbles at an increasing rate. Um, it, yeah, I think I'm just gonna dump that one because, unfortunately. Watch someone in the comments be like, no, wibbly wobbly beams are super OP. Know your terminology, noob. I'm just kidding, no one in my comments is like that. But it's only a matter of time. Thank you. Found another another double combiner, so let's try water and fire. What could go wrong? Oh, that's super cool. Okay, goodbye, Magic Missile. You were fun. Okay, now we've got rocks in this, like, sweet elemental hedry. <laughs> oh, man, that's super cool. Alright. So, our attack speed may not be as... impressive as it was before, but... Like, the proof is in the pudding. Look at it. It works. Alright, 
can we not use our druid spell here? Okay. I don't know what's going on, but... There we go. Damage up. Thank you, Air Rune. Wonderful. This is a very good discovery night, since we got some really good spell combos really fast and uh, ended up doing super well for ourselves. What is this? Escort. Protect the helpless one. It looks like we failed. That was super fast. I'm sorry, whoever I was trying to escort there. <laughs> it's all worth it, because we got a uh, fire room, though. We leveled up. Okay. Oh my god. Other cooldowns are lowered by 10? Uh, we don't really have any cooldown-based stuff, so... XP bonus is pretty nice. Oh, You know what? Permanently gaining max health sounds super nice. After killing 50 enemies, gain 2 health permanently. Sounds super cool, right? I wish that was retroactive. That'd be a little too good, though, I guess. This is an aura room, and we get bullet speed. Yep, that was that room. Alright, now this is the last room. Let's see what we've got. Oh, what is... They make new voice sounds. Voice sounds! That's what they're called. Alright. <laughs> we laid down our wind there. It, it trapped a couple of them. I, it seems like they have a little bit of haste, though. Oh my god. Thank you, Bat. Oh my god, another double combiner. Oh, <laughs> their death... <laughs> I'm sorry, their death sound is hilarious. Oh! Sounds like Mr. Bill. Anyway. I'm, I'm gonna laugh every time we kill one of those. I assume they're called wraiths. They looked kind of wraithy. But, uh... Yeah, that's gonna be a constant theme in this game, is me killing them and laughing really hard. So, be prepared. Oh man, we left health all the way down there. Ugh. I, I've gotta go get it. Look at our health, it's not full. Does that look like full health to you? Also, why are there secondary numbers under our health? Oh, that's our experience, okay. I'm smart. There we go. Was it worth it? Maybe. It's not risk of rain, so we're not, like, on a uh, time crunch right now. Thank you, move speed up. I guess our lottery could be um, cooled down, like, entirely by our class skill if we wanted to. Alright, so we could get bullet size up, we could get a dark rune, a water rune, or another double combiner. I'm gonna grab another double combiner. I tasted blood. No, the stench of blood was strong enough to taste. And the air seemed to vibrate, ringing, echoing through the trees. I decided that for this game I'm gonna use the most ridiculous voice for all of the, uh... Voice acting. What is this? It hurts me. Okay. And if we get one more double combiner, we can make a triple combiner. I wish they would lower the amount that you have to create together to uh, three. I think it makes more sense. Maybe they, maybe they did balance checking. I don't know. Okay, we got bullet duration up from that, meaning we can throw rocks really far. Oh my god. We got a double Chimera cast on our helix there, did you see it? Ooh, please die, thank you. Okay, we got a shock room. Let's go ahead and kill this uh, 
These guys seem like they're giving buffs out, so... Oh, there's another entropy room. I, w I really like what, uh... What double entropy made? So, I would be really happy to find out what triple entropy could make. Percentile increase. I don't know what that means. Let's level it up. I think that increases the percentile of the buffs it gives us. And then, do we have any rocks? No, we don't have rocks or mind. We can increase the damage of our uh, elemental helix, though. There we go. Alright, don't die here. Okay. Oh, oh, that's a cool spell. What was that? Hey, Sebastian. Oh, you get away from me. Cooldown's negative. That is my favorite buff. Thank you. Please, double combiner. Health is fine, too. You know, surviving and all. Nice. Maybe we already got one and I haven't noticed. Nope, just three. I already gave you three. You don't need another one. You don't, you're not the boss of me, game. Alright. There we go. Oh, what is this? Okay. Okay, so we have to kill 16 of these dudes. I love the imp noises. <laughs> there we go. We did it. That was pretty easy. Alright, so... Crit defense, air rune, fire rune, entropy rune. Well, I said I wanted to figure out what triple en entropy does, so I'm going to keep that. Alacrity Mastery. So, the minimum and maximum levels for shock runes. Okay. Farsight. Have knowledge of runes. So, that's like map. And then Wild Burst. 10% on killing an enemy. 10% chance on killing an enemy to release a Seeking Bullet that does 4 damage. Gain 10% damage, but have the chance... On spellcast to randomly teleport. I like random. Let's do it. We're on an entropy run now. I know I just took that saying I, I want to know what triple en entropy does, but I also like the thought that us putting stuff in there raises the cooldown. I mean, not raises the cooldown, but raises the buff that it gives us. Like the effectiveness. And we do seem to be dealing a lot of damage, so... Nice. Thank you. Oh, there's the random teleport. That... I get the feeling... That's gonna be super annoying. I did it to myself, though. Always remember that. <laughs> yeah. Something's throwing axes, though. Okay, the teleport seems really minimal. So, I'm kind of okay with it. Yeah, it's just teleporting me, like, five inches away from myself. Yeah, just stay there. Oh my god, the trees are alive. With the sound of music. How much health do we have now? Alright, we've gained two health from that, uh... Okay, so we can turn that into a creature whenever we want. That's how that works. Okay. 
We we know the drill. Kill the thing that's buffing things. Also, we need to kill whatever is holding us in place here. There we go. I think that was it. Those uh treant looking things. There we go. And that is this path. So let's go ahead and wrap around. Still no triple combine. It's fine. We go ahead and put more fire into our helix. More damage. And what else can I add? Do I use air? I have that. I can increase the... Oh, I need to increase the force. So if I get any speed runes, I will definitely put them in there. But yeah, the teleport seems really minor. So I think... I think the 10% uh, bonus damage is worth it. Uh, that looks like boss fog smoke. Yeah, Blazia, Artist of Flames. Uh, you just, uh... You just stay over there. I, I see your game. This actually might be a really hard boss with, uh, when it comes to dodging, because of the, like, teleport ability, actually. As as much as, as I just said, yeah, the teleporting's no big deal, um, if I teleport into his boxes or X's, that could cause some real, uh, ooh, something's happening with my recording software. Let me pause. Yeah, that's weird. Um, hold on one second. Let me minimize that. Oh! You found out I I look at Imgur. Uh -oh. oh no. Let me see if I can game capture instead. I can! Okay, something was happening with monitor capture there that I don't like. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry if I did not notice that for a really long time. I didn't know. Oh, so close to half health. Okay, let's get rid of those. The helix are really good at snipe at uh, cutting things down from afar, and our rocks basically kill whatever is right in front of us. So, I think we please stop that. That's that seems ridiculous. Can you? Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I'm just gonna turn invincible for a little bit. Don't worry. I'm fire, dude. It is a boss, and this is supposed to be a uh, pretty difficult game, so I shouldn't complain too much when it gives its first, like, huge vision of difficulty. I mean, I died yesterday. I shouldn't say this is the first time it's been hard, but... Did I... Oh, it's making a maze. Oh, we have to run from it. Good to know. <laughs> I didn't uh, I didn't see that coming, so I died to the first boss. I guess that's a good time since it's 33 minutes in. Uh, but that was fun. I I actually really enjoyed that one. We have 92% accuracy. I like that. But let's go ahead and look at our rune decks. It's like a Pokedex, but nerdier. Um, we learned Elemental Helix. We learned Vacuum. Guided Stones, our star. Wibbly Woo. Uh, definitely the uh, the star I, I misspoke before. Wibbly Woo, definitely the best spell of the night. Light Wave, we discovered on the first episode. And we regretted making it forever. Uh, and then we made Lottery today as well. I don't think we ever got a triple combiner. And uh, yeah, hopefully next episode we can do that. But um, that'll be Runers tonight. So, once again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. It really helps out a lot. And if you have any advice for me, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. I do try to read all my comments, even if I don't get the chance to respond to them. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for your input. And this has been Bearded Normal. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye